Well, the sunscreen you use to protect yourself and your family could soon be outlawed. Yes, state lawmakers are considering a ban on sunscreens that can be harmful to coral reefs. As News 6 investigator Mike DeForest shows us, other popular vacation destinations have taken a similar step to get results and protect marine life. Right now, if you buy sunscreen at a beachside vendor or your favorite store, the chemicals in it have been approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. But scientists believe certain sunscreens are harming the oceans. That's why lawmakers in Tallahassee are right now considering a ban on some of those sprays and lotions. Do you have your sunscreen on? I do have my sunscreen on. Do you know what chemicals are in it? Not necessarily, no. Jane French is certainly not alone, but experts believe some of those sunscreen chemicals may be harming coral reefs and marine life. I'm yeah. passionate. That's uh, why State yeah. Senator Linda Stewart has filed a bill that would prohibit the sale of sunscreens containing the chemicals oxybenzone and octanoxate. Three years ago, a team of researchers concluded oxybenzone is killing reefs by bleaching coral and damaging the DNA of coral larvae. Among those researchers was a University of Central Florida biology professor. In the areas where you've got a lot of these chemical sunscreens going into the water, those corals aren't going to come back. Mayor Johnston. Yes, motion passes. Last month, Key West became the first Florida city to ban the sale of certain sunscreens following a similar move made by the state of Hawaii. To me, it boils right down to the fact that there are thousands of sunscreens out there and we have one reef and we have an opportunity to do one small thing to protect that. Um, I believe it's our obligation. While many popular sunscreens contain those potentially harmful chemicals, natural options are available. Our dad created the product. We've grown up preaching it. This Orlando family manufactures and sells Caribbean Soul, a line of sunscreen they say is so safe for the environment, the people at SeaWorld's Discovery Cove issue it to employees and guests before they swim with the park's marine life. Even waterproof sunscreen can wash off and pollute the ocean with harmful chemicals, they say. You know, the, the rainbow film that the gasoline creates, there's a, there's a haze film around where you just jumped in with those chemicals washing off of your skin. Caribbean Soul has been around for about 12 years, long before scientists concluded chemicals in other sunscreens were impacting the oceans. If it's causing this much damage to coral reefs, what's it doing to your skin? A healthcare product trade group believes the evidence is inconclusive that those chemicals are harming marine life. They are urging governments not to rush into any type of sunscreen ban. Even if Florida does not follow the lead of Key West or Hawaii, you can bet some of your favorite vacation destinations may someday limit the types of sunscreen that are sold there. Mike DeForest, News 6. So Tom Sorrells was asking earlier, what is the cost difference? And I'm looking right now. Uh, Caribbean Soul is about $18. So, oh, you know, but expensive. it is expensive, like more than, you know, what you typically buy right now. But sure. there could be other options out there. And if it saves the reefs... Yeah, it's worth could be it helpful. Then, yeah. yeah, if state lawmakers and the governor approve the sunscreen ban, it could go into effect on July 1st. The debate continues. Mm -hmm.